What a beautiful scene. As this herd of elephants march through this open plain, with the Ololola escarpment in the background. And it'll be interesting to know where they're going. They're leaving quite a big swamp, which we're going to show you in a short while. And they do move huge distances, these animals, in search of good food. So they could be heading all the way up to that escarpment. So, again, a mystery that'll be difficult for us to know for sure. Oh, well, you're interested to know if elephants will ever have twins, if that's something that happens commonly. And no, it, it's not something that happens commonly, but it could possibly happen from time to time. It's not something that does get recorded often, and it goes for a lot of the herbivores out here. Very few of them will give birth to twins. And what's interesting with elephants is they've got an incredibly long gestation period. So it's a 22-month gestation period, and then they give birth, and then it's a three- to four-year interval between giving birth again. So they do not give birth very often. They have to raise their young for quite some time. They did the young are dependent on them for quite, quite a few years before they can afford to give birth to another that they can focus all their attention on. Good. Now let's pan across to the right and you'll see a large kind of open green swamp ahead of us and then within that swamp there is a multitude of game. Lots of herds of elephants. I think there's about three or four different herds all clumped up together cashing in on that green lush grass. A few waterbuck in the foreground, some zebra in the background. Beautiful. So we're going to try and skirt along the outside of the swamp and then get into that tree line that you can see in the background there and then follow the river up the tree line. Topies, some more elephant, loads of zebra in the background. <laughs> 